You're watching Vagger Brothers, and this place is rad. My life, my life, my life. In the sunshine, sunshine. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Vagger Brothers. It's day two of our Florida road trip. We've left Orlando, and we are heading up Florida's historic coast. So without further ado, let's go to the oldest city in the United States. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have just arrived in St. Augustine, Florida, which is the oldest continuously inhabited European settlement in the United States of America. It's a beautiful place with a crazy story that goes something like this. As we all know, in 1492, Columbus sailed the ocean blue, but on his second voyage, he came with a conquistador named Ponce de Leon. Ponce de Leon became the governor of Puerto Rico, the problem was, that position was promised to Columbus's son, so he set off on a quest for new lands in the name of glory, gold, and God, and supposedly, the Fountain of Youth. But instead of the Fountain of Youth, he discovered this land, which he called La Florida, as well as the Gulf Stream, an ocean current that cut two weeks off the return voyage to Spain, making Florida crucial in protecting Spanish gold and treasure from pirates. But St. Augustine wasn't founded until 1565, when the Spanish returned only to find other Europeans, French Protestants, known as Huguenots. When they refused to convert or kneel to the Catholic King of Spain, they were slaughtered making the blue waters run red and giving the name to the bay in front of St. Augustine, the Bahia de la Matanza, or the Bay of Slaughter. St. Augustine became the capital of Spanish Florida for 200 years, during which time it was raided by the feared pirate Sir Francis Drake before being ceded to the English, then the Americans, making it the oldest continuously inhabited European settlement in the United States of America. This castle is seriously awesome. It's a citadel, which means it's like a star-shaped formation. This would have been important to protect from pirates, and like I said, Sir Francis Drake did come here, raiding all of the gold ships that came from Mexico and Panama from Peru. This would have been a really important spot in pinching off those shipments of gold treasure as they were headed to the old world. What a view. So cool, honestly. As a historian, and a history nerd. Pretty incredible. It's a little bit late for coffee, but honestly, this could be the cutest coffee shop I've ever seen in my life. Behold. In a little cabin with its own garden, with garden seating. We are from San Diego, California, which also has an old town, but this one is totally killing our hometown old town. This is like really well-preserved buildings. It's got tons of ambiance, and you feel like you're in like a pirate town or something. It's amazing. Especially because we just bumped into a guy who was dressed as a pirate. That really made it feel like a pirate town. Yarrr! So walking down to the port, this is Treasury Street. This is the narrowest street in the United States. It's wide enough to carry gold from the ships to the treasury, but not wide enough for a horse-drawn cart, which was basically designed to prevent piracy. Of course, the town was sacked twice, burnt down twice, so, you know, Call a mixed record. Guy just tried to dab in the background. This could be my favorite, favorite historical area in the United States. I really like New Orleans. Yeah. But, you know, St. Augustine giving a run for the money. Well, 
we've wandered our way through the old town and we've ended up at a place called Michael's that does like tapas and raciones, all Spanish inspired. So we're gonna have like a little tasting course that's gonna be paired with different wines and we're sitting outside under the sky and I cannot wait to eat, I'm starving. Ladies and gentlemen, this meal has just taken a turn towards the epic. I don't even know what's going on on the plate in front of me, but it looks so good. The braised short ribs on top of a yucca mofongo. Mofongo is a Puerto Rican dish, and we're having it with a garnacha, which is usually a blending grape. It's mixed with Syrah and Mona Estrella. It's from Valencia, and this is just an awesome way to celebrate Spanish heritage in the US of A. Supposedly this city is haunted. Is this city haunted? Yes. It is. It's the oldest city in the nation with a lot of bad stuff happening. It's haunted. So, uh, we are gonna go on a ghost tour and see if we can't find some spooky friends. Okay, they failed to mention that this is a wax museum. Johann Sebastian Bach. <gasps> Papa Hemingway. Bach and Yes, my son. Marco. Papa Hemingway. Wanna be. fumbling with something in his hands and what was it? What's rosary. in your hands? What's in your hands? What was an English pirate doing with Catholic rosary beat? Ransom began to gasp for air. <gasps> with the fourth turn of the rope, blood could be seen trickling down his neck. With the fifth turn of the rope, his face began to turn purple. With the sixth turn of the rope, <gasps> the rope broke. Ransom gasped. <gasps> the crowd gasped. <gasps> the priest fell to Ransom's knees. Be the priest. Be the priest. <laughs> oh, oh my god! Christ Sanctuary! Christ Sanctuary! Uh, Dale Santuario, por favor, please, save him! And carry him off into the safety of the church you as the done, crowd Marco. cheered. Ven con Dios, por favor! <laughs> Last night was scary. I'm usually a skeptic of ghosts, and I do not believe that we're going to see anything, but then today, I followed their directions. They said take a bunch of photos with a flash on. And I took one of the gallows last night and when I looked at it. Oh, oh my gosh. No, huh? Oh my ghost. Clearly visible. Oh yeah, there he you is. Zoom in. Oh wow. So he's definitely a ghost. Cool, man. Well, great job, bro. Ghost hunting. You ready to go, Jackson? Non-believers. Non-believers, you gotta see just the evidence right there. Writing's on the wall. Anyway, let's go, Jackson. Non-believers. We are at Jacksonville Beaches at the pier. I know Florida isn't really known for surfing, so my, my hopes are not super high on it, but it's definitely hot and uh, it seems like a nice beach, so let's go get a look. In the sunshine, sunshine My life, my life, my life, my life, my life In the sunshine, sunshine
Tony, the owner of the surf shop, also shapes, and he shapes in the back of the surf shop. So the longboard that I just rode was his, he shaped it, and uh, it was perfect for out there. So nice little switch up. Wasn't expecting to surf today, but it's always a pleasant surprise to get in the ocean. And Marco, thank you for filming me. Appreciate Bro. it. Boom. Browser 4. So now we're going to go to see where liquid meets land at the Jacksonville Ale Trail. Alright Marco, what is the plan? All right, so right now we are in the Five Points neighborhood of Jacksonville. A lot of these houses here are from the Turpentine Barons who made their money making mattresses. Crazy story, the moss, Spanish moss here, used to be used to make mattresses and one of the factories caught on fire and burnt down most of the city. But a few houses remain and this neighborhood has the best preserved ones. So we're gonna go get some dinner around the corner at the Black Sheep restaurant and then hit the bars. Good cheese, good charcuterie, great beer. I'm having a flashback. Friends of Ham in Leeds, Northern England. So we tried some good local beers and now we're gonna go to the source, Ardwolf Brewery in San Marcos. cool things about Jacksonville is that there's this thing called the Jacksonville Ale Trail. Basically there's a lot of craft breweries in this city and they've linked them all together so you get a little passport. You can go from one brewery to another and sample as many beers as you can handle. Number one, Stormageddon Black IPA. First up I got the Nonchalant. It's a session IPA, 5%. Ooh. EBS, Early Bird Special Breakfast Stout, because apparently that's a thing. Next up, I got the Dungeons and Dungeon. Let's see what's going on in here. Cinco de Maisie for Cinco de Mayo. The BPA, Belgian style pale ale, super smooth. And lastly, the Eater of Dreams Sour Ale. I might not dream, but I will sleep soundly. We have followed our intuition to Intuition Aleworks. Florida. Time to reflect on the whole trip. Is it? Yeah, it's time. 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 time, time. Dude, honestly, we've been to Florida two or three times before, only really Miami and Orlando. So to come back to Orlando and then to hit up the historic coast, it's just been such an eye-opening experience for us. Short road trip, I guarantee you there's way more for us to see here, but I've been really pleasantly surprised. I mean, St. Augustine, the oldest city in the United States, amazing. All the charm, the food. The food. The food. The food alone is worth the trip. The ghosts. Saw, saw a ghost. And I, I'll tell you this, the beer in Florida, coming from someone from San Diego. Chapeau, Florida, you guys got good beer. Nice craft beers. And uh, overall, it's been a great trip. So I hope that you guys enjoyed watching us wander. Mm -hmm. And if you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, share with your travel buddies, and uh, add any more travel tips below in the comment section. In the meantime, remember to stay curious, keep exploring, and we will see you guys and girls on the road very, very soon. I don't know who's in that car back there, but they just got in the log. Peace!